Okay guys, we are finally here at my nephew's birthday party at the house. We are running a little bit late. I don't know what's going on with this fringe. We're running a little bit late today because I am on call and I got held up at work. But at least we made it, right? I got a broccoli salad. If you're following me on Instagram, you would see that I posted the recipe on there. I'll save it as a highlight so that if you do want to know how to make a nice, healthy, yummy broccoli salad, then you can. Got Georgie boy here. Georgie? What's up, guys? So, uh, yeah, see you next time. Just gonna walk in now. Can you close the door? Can we go through the front door? Uh, I wanna go here. Yeah. I wanna go to the front door. <laughs> I thought you knew him. I was like, Oi, a bit was just a kid on. Got you, Loy. There's a police. Oh, just in time. Just a <laughs> Hi, yo. It's pretty evident that it's full on here. Everyone's yap yap yapping. I'm reunited with my cousin! It has been so long. I look so red. Why do I look so red? Do I? Your cheeks. Yeah, I always get red. Yeah, so it's been a long time. Got my San Pellegrino here with me. I just want to show you guys my salad. Ooh, delish. Look at that goodness. Just cut up some chicken. You can use any meat that you want. We've got sausages, party pies, some chicken. Are you all right, Eddie? Eddie, you okay? We finished eating, guys, a while ago. Sorry, I keep forgetting to pick up the camera, but we're out here. Molly's playing games with the kids. They all just read a story. And now it's... Eddie, look! It's your first time! I haven't seen my cousins in so long. Oh my god, it's a big Hi! Eddie! Eddie, go! It's your turn, you're first! You first, Eddie! Okay, let's put it on. Eddie, so cute! Okay, smile! Everyone clap for Eddie!
Jesus, we bless Eddie, Lord. We bless him, Lord, and cover him by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, and bless everyone that has come today to celebrate the life of him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Guys, it's pretty much the end of the day now. We had a lot of fun. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog too. Oh, so you broke my bum. Because <laughs> he pulled the chair. I was gonna slam, I was slamming down. I'm, I was gonna sit down really fast and then Ossie just yawned the chair off my bum. Oh, um, so like, what if people want to jam with you on Fortnite? Um, then add him. Add me on Polo Capital B. What's it? What is it, Asso? Capital B Polo Capital B. Uh, capital B Polo. Oh, Darnell Goat Capital D underscore Goat. That's it, boys. Want to add me a Fortnite? Run some squads. One v one me. Might beat you. Tell us your crush. Oh. Ooh. Every 13 year old has a crush. Who was yours? A, a, a disabled guy. <laughs> Yo, that's not funny. Stay. Hey guys, I'm just editing this video and I just realized I forgot to do comment of the day. So I'm just popping back to do it now. And give me a second. Okay, so comment of the day goes to... Oh, I think this person's already had comment of the day before, but that's who I'm choosing tonight. Mummy Samita. I love how much you cherish your family values, especially sharing what your parents have instilled in you. I've lived away from my parents for about six years now. I'm in Australia. They're in New Zealand. So seeing your relationship with them really warms my heart. And the relationship we... And the relationship you have with your sisters is 100% the way I am with my sisters. Love your work, SV. Oh, thank you so much. That was so sweet. And yes, my family, we're all very close. That is the way that my parents raised us to be, especially my dad. My dad worked very hard to do that. Every time we would fight, I'm not joking, we would literally have to kiss each other on the lips even though we just almost killed each other, like we got scratch marks and like bruises all over our body. And I used to get more scared from the lecture that we would get from our parents because they would sit there in the sitting room and they would talk about what happened. And then he would always, always, always folk war to us. He would just like advise us. He would give us advice and teach us um, with his words, not just with the belt. Like, I mean, we got the belt, but we also got words after that. 
no matter how angry we were, we would literally have to look each other in the eyes and kiss each other on the lips and then hug each other. And then he would say, it's finished. If I hear you guys fighting again after this point, you're both going to get it from me. You know, small things like that. My parents re worked really hard to do that um, for us. My parents get so blessed when they see how close we are as well. It's so feel fungi, even to this day. And we're just really tight. When I'm away from my family, no matter if it's a, a day, um, a couple of days, a week, when I go to Samoa with Aussie on my own, I literally cry on the bus to the airport and then I cry on the plane and then I cry when I get into Samoa and I pretty much cry <laughs> every day that I'm there. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next coming videos because they are both pretty funny, both pranks. I'll see you guys next time, SV Squad, signing out. <laughs>